Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Other Side with me, Frank Uh First thing we're going to do is germinate a few more daughters so that we have enough for two teams of four. Now this might hurt me in a little bit because I won't be able to afford Give to put any to memories. Please, guide her well. Oh, didn't mean to back out there. Let's go back in and germinate these daughters. Give life to our daughters. Another shield bearer. And then a scythe dancer. Unleash her on any who stand in her way. There we go. Then we have Give life to our daughters. Two very balanced teams of four. Now Unleash her on any who stand in her way. For each incoming attack, I... We'll grab this on her. I'm not super excited about it, but we'll see what happens. At the very least, we can always sacrifice her later on. We'll start with... Oh, it's survival. Ugh. We'll see how this goes. We'll bring... All of our healthy and new daughters and see how they hold up. We must destroy what suffering has wrought. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these survival missions, but no oh, well. The experience will be worthwhile, especially now that we they get an extra twenty-five percent. And grief bearers are here, that's Come not great. Alright, so I could send Serene over here. I'm not going to though. How far So she's gonna move and attack. I don't know where the exit is gonna spawn, probably to the top here. Or up here. But I wonder if it changes, like if I start moving that direction. I'm gonna. I don't wanna gamble. I'm gonna stay in the center. All these daughters can move. Um. Don't think they can attack on their first turn, so I'm not gonna bother with Dance of Fury. Might end up regretting that, but we'll see. Darn it. I messed up. Should have sidestepped instead. <sighs> It'll be fine. I'll activate Blacksmith's Grace just in case. I'm actually a little nervous about my decision making here. Um, they should be able to attack on their first turn. Yeah, they're just going to move into position. That's right. It's just like if they were to spawn out the ground. Still a lot of potential. There you go. We'll take her armor. No big deal. I'm gonna take Dance of Fury as well. But again, right now if she had that other ability, uh, I forgot what it's called, the big AoE one, she'd be in a lot better position, I think. But it's fine. We have a Blade Master, and I really think a Blade Master is the only way to deal with the uh, Grief Bears because they get so much armor. Might be enough to take her out, actually. 
Nope, not quite. That is. Shred them down. All right, so I feel a little weird about this. Um. Oh. Oh no, it's not gonna put her in the right position though. I would like to move over here, and then use imbued blade. I think it's worth going to a deficit for that because it's a lot of damage. Uh, but we'll we'll see. Uh, we are going to slam her twice. Also, I didn't realize we went first on the uh, timeline, so I actually wasted some health here. But that's okay. Yeah, we still go again before they go. How foolish my fears. More forgotten pain. Go. That How too. foolish my fears. Alright, so now More Serene doesn't go until after these guys. Still don't think we need to use Dance of Fury though. Maybe I should have just spirit hasted mercy instead. It'll be fine. Exquisite. They won't stop ever. I'm with you, daughters. Revel in her strength. Okay. More forgotten pain. The infested, the improved version of the infected, which is my least favorite enemy type in the game. Flesh is so that's cool. Canvas. So I probably don't even need to go down there and avoid him altogether. More forgotten pain. Now she, I can't ignore. She's gonna move to us, so it's fine. My daughter. Not close enough, though. Don't what like that. What suffering done? I can't really not move. Ah, uh, it's gonna do like a hundred and something damage. Is it worth using blacksmith's grace? Like, it's not gonna do a ton. I think we'll actually take less damage from this than we would hurting ourselves with blacksmith's grace. Well, I don't know, because we haven't been hit by it yet, uh, by this guy. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to take his armor, so he's easier to kill later. Two thirty. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's all he wrote. It had to be done. Or she. All right, I need to slow down a little bit. I'm getting a little hasty Make here. No so again, I'm hoping the exit is to the top left, or just to the top of the screen here. So again, she focus. She should focus on her. I 
I'm not gonna move her. I still don't know where I need to go. Um, I'm just gonna activate Blacksmith's Grace because she's gonna end up taking a shot, I think. Kind of let them come to us. I'm most positive it's going to be to the top here. Move her slightly in that direction. So she has like 30% dodge chance. Which is pretty good. matter. I feel like it's going to be towards the top there, but again, I don't want to risk moving in that direction and then have to, you know, backtrack. So holding our current position mostly towards the center, but a little towards the top there, I think is the uh, way to handle this. We'll take out this guy real fast. No mercy. Yeah, okay, I was right. It is up there. All right, we'll start heading that direction as soon as we can. This little guy. Broken souls. Her guys, I guess, they're going to be a nuisance. Good news is we all get to go before them. I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Pretty sure we're going to take some damage here. So we'll play it a little safe. I think an intercepting round will go a long way here. Make no mistake, suffering sends these monsters. Next turn, they should all be able to make it out, I think. I should have sidestepped. You know what? It's fine. I have an interrupting shot, we should be okay. My newest creation. Oof, don't like that one bit. Not really the interrupting shot that I wanted, but it's fine. Yeah, she has a 30% chance to dodge. Not bad. Wait, wait, does she? No, she was a new shield carrier, wasn't she? That's the case, she doesn't have the, uh... Yeah, so she can make it here, the Blade Master should be able to make it here as well. Unless someone moves into her path. But she has sidesteps, so I think she'll be okay. Start dipping out.
dodge. Shoot. Son of... No, she's dead. That's fine. She was new. She can't move. Son of a gun. Well, she's gonna go out, she's gonna go out in a hail of glory. Or blaze of glory, however you want to say it. I revel in her strength. I revel in her strength. This round doesn't matter because it can't be applied to herself. Yeah, that's all she wrote. I lost two daughters here. Not a fan of that. My daughters. What has suffering done? Yeah, she has a level nine daughter too. That's rough. Again, I could abandon it, but I... Uh, we'll, we'll see. There's always a chance. I guess if I wouldn't have put her in such a deficit. It will reap what suffering has sown. She's gonna get completely blocked in. It will reap what suffering has sunk. I guess there is always hope, though, so uh, yeah, we'll see. That's why I don't like survival. It always gets just a little out of my control. It will reap what suffering has sown. Again, if it weren't for that root, I would have been fine. I would have been fine losing the Blade Master. She was new. I hadn't invested any time or anything into her. It would have been fine, but uh, losing Celeste here. My daughters. That makes me sad. What has suffering done? Yeah. Both of them get a turn. And the two uh, plague priests or plague prophets. So many reapers. Jeez. And we still have an exit path. I think she's dead here. Ah, uh, close. Okay. I mean, we do have a dodge chance, so. Oh, that's... Oh, no, hey, hey, we might be okay. Well, if she can dodge her attacks. It's entirely dependent on her not killing her. Nope, that's it. Okay, well... Kept two daughters alive, at least. <laughs> Though the danger passes, we must prepare for the next. All right, where's the other is? The infested. The infested is a stronger evolution of the infected. It can escape by swapping positions with one of its allied monsters. Spread enchant my name, for I'm the voice of anger. I shape hatred, I sculpt pain, and for my art comes infection. Grow my magnificent tumors. Gain green this world and give it the fate. Give it the face it deserves. Okay. Alright, let's uh, do 
hunt, which is far preferable to survival. Then you remember my rule. I'm not doing survival. I don't I don't care for it. We must destroy what suffering has wrought. The child found solace in this woman. Our 16 enemies, not bad. Again, we'll take a more defensive stance here, especially against these guys. Where are they at? They're all down there. Except for that one. Okay. Yeah, again, we'll stay pretty defensive here. Let them come to us. That's not gonna work. All right, how far away are these guys? That's out of range. I think actually, I think we're all out of range. Yeah. Let them come to us this turn, and then we'll take them out. That'll be that. I might send my blade master after the prophets. I think that'll be okay. Revel in her strength. So I don't want to deal with them if I can help it. And they should all group up and then I can put Desire near them and have her use her AoE ability. At least that's the plan. Let's see how it plays out though. Uh, the Reaper should jump in on us. He should use his leap ability. Alright, so we'll be in a bit of a deficit here, but I think it's fine. If that's the case, I may as well go ahead and just use this, right? So I think this is just outright kill him. Yeah, that's, that's a better way to handle that. Shatter them. And then he should leap on her. I'm gonna go ahead and use um. I'm gonna use blacksmith's grace. Interrupting shot will serve us a little better there, I think. So that's what we'll use. Because he should leap and attack this turn. If I know my AI, I don't. But if I did, that's what he will do. Have her chase him down. A little dangerous her being out by herself like this, but uh we'll see what happens. Of course he's gonna target her. That's fine. Alright, sidestep. Take him down next turn. It had to be done. So we're gonna need to do an intercepting round here. So now it's his turn. More forgotten pain. 
They pay a little more attention to the timeline. Now she doesn't have any health, though. Nothing to it. Flesh is its canvas. Right, so these guys, I'm going to try and chase them down. If I moved all the way back here, she can't get the attack off, but I can use lightning blade. Yeah. Huh. Alright, I have an idea. It's a bead blade for both of them. And he still gets to go, which I don't like actually. We'll do it this way. So she's going to a deficit anyway. Shatter them. Gotta take this guy out so the rest of my daughters can ignore him and just go straight after the infested back there. Where are these guys spawning? What are they? A hate dancer and a plague prophet. They're both back there. Okay, that works. Using Blacksmith's Grace here is fine, so she doesn't lose armor. Uh, you know what? Actually, no, we're not going to do that. for me. Not looking forward to fighting this new enemy type who's gonna shred my, my armor daughters. like it's nobody's business. What has suffering done? Oh thank goodness he didn't armor her. That would have been annoying. I'm going to quite the deficit here. I think it's fine. <sighs> I mean, it's probably not, but it might be. And just 
strictly using her for buffs right now. Nice. Striking. Why? Why? Let's just keep him from going. Might as well kill him. Yeah. Would have been even better. Alright, and the two enemies. I'm gonna assume they're gonna be the Dark Daughters. Or whatever they're called. Make no mistake. Oh, no. A Ravager and a Reaper. It's not a big deal. We'll just surround them, so when they pop up, we just burn them down. Oh wait, we can move that way a little bit. There we go. Yes, he won't last the turn. And he shouldn't either. And we just slam him into submission, so. It will reap what suffering has sown. I probably should have focused on... Well, we can take him down still. It'll be fine. Yeah, because we can kill him, then we can lightning slash the... Uh, we have to teach him to stop. Reaver. Is that Ravager? What is he called? Yeah, Ravager. Sorry. I keep getting the Reapers, Ravagers. Exquisite. All sorts of edgy names. All right. Well, not too bad. We lost two daughters, more than I would have liked. We do what we must. But it's still not something. Oh, level ten. What does she get for level ten? Spirit burst, uh, boost initiative by ten, dodge by twenty for ten, and armor by thirty for ten duration for all our allies in the area. Oh. And then detonating shot, deal up to 422 damage to a target and 422 in a zone. I think going the buff route is the way to go. Oh, I should have a level 10 too. Fantastic. A little nervous, so who all did I lose? Let's go and germinate a couple of daughters. Give life to our daughters. We'll grab another soul slinger. Another blade master. Now, unleash her on any who stand in her way. Before I forget, let me go to the. Give life to our daughters. And shadow round and spirit haste, lightning strike, and I really like the mobility abilities. Uh, that's why I keep grabbing those. Um, hey, I guess the hate dancer was new, wasn't she? The Hate Dancer will use its scythe to steal armor and attack its enemies multiple times. She'll focus the closest daughter while prioritizing any scythe dancers. Everything is your fault, and now it's too late. Alright, uh, next day. Let's see what's waiting for us from the void. tomorrow. Can't be anything good. All damage is increased by 20%. I am out, but we get more. Wite. Of course, they're both impossible, but that's fine. Obviously, I'm going to do the four daughters. Mostly because you get a bigger reward. Not looking forward to that. But we'll deal with that tomorrow. Again, I'm probably just going to do the one mission. I'm not going to do both of them. I don't do the... Uh, if I can avoid it, I don't do the one to two daughters. But again, this first try, or this first playthrough, this era isn't... I'm not worried about really what happens so long as I make it to the boss. Uh, I don't really expect to beat the boss on the first try, any, because I haven't done it yet, so I'm not going to fret about that. Uh, it's all—it's always just about making it to the boss, unlocking that codex entry, so I know kind of how the boss operates. Because uh, in the, the mission itself, I can see what the abilities do, but then once I unlock the codex, I can see how the boss interacts. And I think that's really important uh, for the game. It makes it feel like you're almost supposed to lose the first 
uh, first time you face a boss because again you you unlock that vital information in the codex yeah we'll do that when we when we get there i'm gonna call it here next episode we'll do one of the well we'll do this one of course and uh proceed through the fourth era thanks for watching hope to see you guys in the next one